Hello and welcome to our evening prayer for Sunday the 31st of October, All Hallows Eve. And it's been a miserable day weather-wise. It's been blowing a hooli and raining and it's cold and of course with the clocks going back it's dark even earlier. But we rejoice in the warm love of God as we cosy up together for the evening prayer. Today, world leaders are meeting in Glasgow for the United Nations Climate Conference. I'm sure you've seen it on the TV. And so our opening prayer, especially written from for Tierfund, from Tierfund. Let's pray. Lord, we lift our voices to you for COP26. Our prayer for this conference is that leaders will make the boldest decisions of their lives and promise the policies that will save the planet and protect the poor. That world leaders will stick to their promises and take urgent action on the climate crisis. Our prayer is that the voices of the vulnerable and the marginalised will be heard, will be listened to and will be answered in the way in which global justice demands. Our prayer is for a fresh outpouring of your spirit and spirit-filled strategy. Our prayer is that the leaders and nations will be mindful that the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, and that as politicians and scientists and even royalty meet, that they will acknowledge that the earth truly is groaning because creation longs for the sons and daughters of God to be revealed. Our prayer is that our leaders would return to the wisdom of honouring and creatively caring for the home that you have given us. And that those who go make wise decisions and act quickly. Our prayer is for God's divine intervention on the conference leaders. We pray for humility that a commitment to listening to one another and asking what we can do would deliver us from apathy, indifference and the assumption that this is someone else's issue, someone else's problem, someone else's challenge. Our prayer is for wisdom and humility to be at the heart of discussions and decisions at the conference. Our prayer is that the most vulnerable will be given a seat at the table and their needs prioritised. We pray that we would recognise the brokenness of creation and turn once again to God, who will one day make all things new. We pray that our nation shall take a lead in all that needs to be done to see that the world is preserved as you have ordained it to be right from the beginning. Our prayer is that a new awe and wonder would emerge for the beauty and glory of creation and its creator. We pray that tangible differences will be made as a result and that our global leaders are compelled to act. Holy Spirit, let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. Our prayer 
is that leaders in this generation will make decisions now, today, at this conference. And that they will impact this generation and the future generations in positive ways. And we know nothing is impossible for you, God. Amen. Our scripture tonight is from Matthew chapter 5, reading verses 13 to 16. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Today we had our young children back, our fog squad back in the church for the first time since March 2020. And although they've been back at church, they've been in uh, one of the halls and doing their own thing and not in the sanctuary with us. So it was a great day today having them with us joining in for the first part of the service. And I talked to them a little today about Halloween. And how some churches, instead of having Halloween parties, have light parties with lots of disco lights and music and food. And I had a light bag for them. I talked to them about Jesus being the light of the world and how we too are called to be light in the world. As we thought tonight a bit about COP26 and all the darkness that surrounds the climate crisis, we remember that Jesus calls us not just to be salt, to preserve the good things that we already have and bring healing, but also to be light. There's tremendous anxiety among those concerned for the environment and the term climate grief is being used to describe the feelings of many who mourn the damage that humans have already done to the natural world and of course their fears for the future. As Christians we hold to the hope of all creation being renewed and restored but of course we're also called to live in this world in the present and to look after God's creation now and being light means that something of that future hope can be made visible now. Not that we deny the challenges of the climate crisis or simply look into the future and hope that there's going to be a better time, but we engage with the present. Even if this world is dark and getting darker, our light then becomes more visible and becomes a sign of hope. So let us be salt and light to an increasingly hurting world. Please do pray that wise decisions will be made at this climate conference and that those called to make decisions will act justly and swiftly and love mercy and walk in humility. Let us pray. Lord, we pray for all who hurt tonight. For all who are sad or worried or frightened. For those for whom this world is a very dark place right now. For those who are grieving or hurting or broken. Oh Lord, may they see your face tonight and hear your voice. We pray for all the youth organisations within our town. For church youth groups and for the First Carnoustie Boys Brigade and Girls Association and their leaders, for First Carnoustie Scouts and their leaders, for Girl Guiding Carnoustie and their leaders, for Carnoustie Pannier Football Clubs and Carnoustie Air Cadets and those who lead them. We continue our prayer with the words from the Celtic Daily Prayer from the Northumbria community.
O God of life, this night, O darken not to me thy light. O God of life, this night, close not thy gladness to my sight. Keep your people, Lord, in the arms of your embrace. Shelter them under your wings. Be their light in darkness. Be their hope in distress. Be their calm in anxiety. Be strength in their weakness. Be their comfort in pain. Be their song in the night. In peace will I die, lie down. For it is you, O Lord, you alone who makes me rest secure. Be the peace of the Spirit mine this night. Be the peace of the Son mine this night. Be the peace of the Father mine this night. The peace of all peace be mine this night. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Until next time, I hope that whatever this week brings, that you do walk in the light with God, and sleep well. God bless. The peace of the earth.